When it comes to the rapture, people are confused as if it's going to be a pre-tribulation rapture, mid-trib rapture, or a post-tribulation rapture. And I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, and so people ask often, hey, what are, you, what are your thoughts on uh, the rapture? And so here, here's an idea, at least something that I can at least try to throw at you guys to see what you guys think on, and this is just a reason as far as why I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. So check it out. So in Revelation chapter 11, we learn about the two witnesses. And what we learn in Revelation 11 is that they are going to prophesy 1,260 days. And this is going to be taking place during the tribulation. This is going to take place during the first three and a half years of the tribulation. And that's important to understand. So when you look at what they're allowed to do during this first three and a half years, what they see, what you see is in Revelation 11, 5, it says fire is proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And then down here, it says they have the power to shut heaven. They have the power to turn water to blood and they have power with all plagues at plagues as often as they desire. Now, the reason I showed you that is because I want you to understand the world that we're living in right now. Right now, you and I are saved by grace through faith. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. That is a key thing to really hone in on as far as your sight. And so what I want you to understand is my whole point that I'm trying to get across here is, is that during the first three and a half years of the tribulation, which is when those two witnesses are going to be here, they're going to be devouring people with fire. They're, they're going to be t turning the water into blood. They're going to have power over all plagues as often as they desire. And that's interesting because that is a different world. And so I want you to imagine the world right now that we're living in right now. I want you to imagine seeing somebody do all of those things right in front of you. You're there, you're over in Israel, and you see that taking place, and you're like, holy smokes. And so if you saw that, well, then all of a sudden you understand and recognize that the supernatural is actually real because there's a lot of people who deny it. There's a lot of people who say this is a joke, that the whole Bible is false, it's not real. But during that time, people are going to, their faith in a sense is going to become sight. Now, a lot of people who see that, they're still not going to believe. But my point is for people right now alive during this time, and it's, it's November 14th, 2024, for people who, if you saw that right now, people would believe because it would be undeniable. And so a reason why I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture is because right now, everything that we are believing in is by faith, by faith and faith alone. And that is really important. And during the tribulation, it's still going to be by faith, but it's gonna be a different time. It's gonna be a different chapter in, in, in time. And so you and I, as part of the church age, which began in Acts chapter two, and it's going to end in Revelation chapter three, we are here and we are in this little bucket called the the church and that's it's, a, it's an amazing thing to be a part of but i just want you to um i guess see the difference between you know if you believe in a mid-tribulation or if you believe in a post-tribulation rapture then that means that those people believe that they are going to see these two witnesses they believe they're going to see these two witnesses rise from the dead they believe that they're they're going to see the witnesses do all kinds of things with fire they're going to turn the water into blood, they're going to see those things. And so for me personally, I believe that we are not going to see those things. I think the church is going to be taken out before all of those things. And so by just a natural byproduct, that lands me personally in a pre-tribulation stance. And so pre or a pre-rapture, I believe that we're going to be raptured out of here before the tribulation begins. And so it's okay if you disagree. I'm just telling you, just this is just another idea, another thing to add to the list of reasons why I believe in a rapture that happens before the tribulation. Hope this helps.